All right, guys, welcome back to part two of our tutorial on uh, 360 degree head turn character creation. Uh, if you may recall in part one, we talked about adding extra angle points to your, uh, to your graph here, your 360 head creator. We talked about uh, copying the angle data from one point to another, also setting the position and layer order, and setting the weights uh, for the timing on the uh, layer switching. Okay, now in this part, uh, we're going to talk about the average points between uh, setting the average uh, between two points and also mirroring uh, with and without sprites, uh, without sprite uh, mirroring. Okay, so let's go ahead and preview this. You can see this, this point here is where we kind of came across an impasse. We need to change some stuff here and uh, obviously need to add, add some more angle points. And I'll talk about that in just a moment. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it. Um, so again, adding angle points up here, toggle head turn layout. And just throw in a few more angle points here, just like this, this, and this. Okay, so now we have three different angle points. And if we uh, preview, we have something like this. Okay, so again, from here to here, we're looking okay. From here to here, we're looking okay. Here to here, I, I think it's okay. However, this middle point here is, you know, causing a big uh, kerfuffle. So what we need to do is let's go ahead and select this middle point right here. And we're going to use this tool called the average mean between two points. Okay, we'll go ahead and click that and it's going to ask us to select two points. So I'm going to select the top point here and the bottom point here. Okay, and the main adjustment that we need to make is make sure that we have the nose selected. Okay, or the mouth in this case. Okay, Again, I'm using them interchangeably the beak, no mouth, nose, whatever. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing with the mouth average mean between two points, Shazam and Shazam, just like that. And now it'll pop into place for that particular uh, um, uh, layer. Okay, so the mouth has popped in. And if we preview now, you can see looking okay. I think just like this. Right, and I think our tail is positioned okay. And there we go. Okay, so essentially, you, you know, you got to make sure that all your uh, um, features are kind of uh, put together and at the correct angle points. And you can average the uh, set the average point between two points, this point and this point here, to get this right here. Okay, and if you want to, uh, you know, tweak it a little bit, you can do so. Do that a little bit, something like that. It's all up to you and the results that you want to get. Okay, I think that's good for now. Let's talk about mirroring now. Okay, so we're going to mirror from the right side to the left side. Okay, so let's go ahead and quickly do that. Again, the first thing we need to do is add all those angle points in. So let's just add 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 by the way you can you know take away angle points as well if you want to uh, press that and it'll take it away okay add it again and uh, so on and so forth okay let's keep it keep it the way it is for now okay just like this and let's get some mirroring done now the first point uh the first mirroring what we want to do here is this right midpoint okay this right midpoint right here and let's go ahead and just go ahead and select the mirror uh i'm going to go ahead and mirror it right now and we're going to mirror all. Now we also want to mirror sprite in this case uh, because it's the nose. Now, when we mirror the nose, uh, if I go ahead and apply this, what's gonna happen is this nose is gonna pop uh, back into this direction. And in order to adjust that, we just need to go into the sprite section here, the sprite tab and flip it, okay? Flip it just like this and bring it over here. Now that's because the nose, again, like, is, like I mentioned, is a special sprite and it needs to be uh, adjusted that way let's go back into the transform here and with everything else we can essentially just do mirroring all okay so from here to here we've uh you know mirrored with the sprite okay make sure it's uh you know relatively decent and uh here as well but for now we need to also go over here and we're going to mirror this one the far right point and this time we're going to deselect sprite okay and just select apply okay and then if we preview, we're going to have a nice smooth result from here to here. Okay. You can see we also need to set the weighting, right, for this one here. So again, just go ahead and set the weighting for that really quick. Bring her over here, zoop, just like that. And then we'll preview it one more time. There we go. 360 degree rotation from one point to the next. Fantastic. Okay. So do the same thing over here, just mirror and apply and here and apply up here and apply and up here and apply as well. Okay, so now if we preview, we have, you know, a fairly good result on the top half of our, uh, our graph. 
Cool. Okay, so the next part we need to talk about here is setting up the lower half of our 3D 360 head creator graph. Okay, so again, the same process as before with the upper part here. Uh, again, the lower uh, right section here. We need to create a new point down here. So let's go ahead and do that just by pressing the old plus uh, button there, down there. And again, just copy from the lower right zoop, down to this point here. And then the lower right, we need to change this to uh, have our facial features off the character again. So uh, we can remove mast view and let's just slide slightly over here and take all those items and just kind of, uh, you know, move them down here off the character one by one here we go Probably maybe a bit too far but uh it's okay put this all over here and finally these bad boys little tufts of uh here on the side okay so after preview we're gonna have something like this down and off the character's face and with mass view it's gonna look like this Oh, okay. Um, but again, uh, the nose needs to be uh, positioned. I always take that nose in the wrong position there. Just like this. Oop. Okay, and at this point, the nose also needs to be layered below the body. So, just like this. There we go. Okay. And oop. There you go. And the hair, in this case, is also going to be... Uh, we're also going to make the hair disappear. Okay, so the hair, the front tuft of hair um, at this point is going to be placed uh, on the lower, all right, click and drag that, whoops, front hair down here as well, below the face, just like that, and we'll place it uh, back here as well. Okay, so just let's something like this. Okay, so now he'll uh, have something like this, and that tail needs to be set as well, so the tail will be up here and be placed above. All the other stuff, right about there. All right, I'll just uh, put the tail a bit right about there. Okay, then we'll have something like this. And uh, that should be fine and dandy. Maybe we can be a bit over further, just like that. Okay, I think that's good for now. Um, we're pretty much set. Now again, with this uh, right uh, area right here, again, that uh, obviously needs some <laughs> some fixing. So let's go ahead and take those, uh, create three more of those mid parts here. Uh, we're going over here and plus, plus and plus. Okay, and uh, get out of there. And this point here, we're gonna have an average for the, uh, for the nose, especially for the nose. Um, between this point and this point. Okay. And the hair as well. So that little hair tuft there. Let's have an average between this point and this point. There you go. It looks okay. We can probably just find the nose slightly and get a result like this. There we go. Now we've got that adjusted. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So I think I'm happy with that. Uh, happy with the results there. Uh, we're, all, we're all good in this case. So let's just go ahead and get, get around to copying that from one side to the next by moving to our uh, points here. So I'll go ahead and turn the layout. Point, point, point. And let's do those uh, all that copying. Or all that mirroring, rather. Oops. Mirror everything. This one here as well. And down here. Apply. Okay, and that should uh, that should about do it. Oh, maybe this point here as well. And then finally we need to go to the bottom right and do that as well. So you can see the tuft of hair is now kind of hidden on the bottom right there. And just go ahead and select apply. And that'll apply to the other end as well. And that's really about all there is to it. So let's go ahead and give it a quick preview. You can see we have the result right here up in the top and then down here. It's a full 360 degree head on this character. So that's really all there is to it. That's how you can... Uh, kind of create the illusion, create the simulation of a 360 degree head on a 2D, uh, 2D format. Okay, so let's go ahead and just stop the preview. Let's uh, quickly go and uh, test out some of the uh, motions on this character, come some perform motions really quickly. Just go back into stage mode here. And uh, there's our character, let's zoom in a little bit. And let's go to our content manager over here, animation. Let's go to uh, perform uh, D3360. Let's do a couple of these motions here. So maybe um, we have this, uh, 
Philip, uh, front facing sigh. Motion will just kind of quick and drag that on there. <sighs> well, what am I to do? Okay, so you get a pretty pretty good result there. Maybe a couple more here. Let's test out uh, maybe this uh, laugh, for example. <laughs> well, that's hilarious. As you can see, there's uh, quite a long, uh, wide range of motions there uh, for the character. I'm going to try and test uh, one yes, more here. Yes, sir. Pancakes coming right up. Okay, so pretty cool results, and I think that's all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. So uh, thanks so much for watching, and uh, make sure you check out our forums over at forum.reillusion.com, as well as our learning center on the uh, product website for Cartoon Animator 4. And I hope to see you in the next video.